Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Welcome to my tutorial, Playing Around with the 12 Bar Blues in E. Now what is the 12 Bar Blues? The 12 Bar Blues is a very basic chord progression made up of three major chords in a selected key that are commonly used to play basic blues. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E and the three chords that we are going to be using are going to be E7, A7, and B7. The E7 chord is made by placing a finger on the second fret of the A string and the G string fret 1 and playing all the strings open. We'll play an A7 by placing a finger on the D string 2nd fret and the B string 2nd fret and play from the A string down. We'll make a B7 by placing a finger on fret 2 of the A string, fret 1 of the D string, and fret 2 of the G string. And we can play a B7 by playing from the A string down to the B string. And if we play the E string, the, or the high E string, we'll get a B11. Now either chord works, so you can mute by placing your finger on this string and playing just a B7. Or you can play all the strings and get a B11. And both chords work just fine. There's not a lot of difference in the way they sound. Now what we're going to do is play the chord progression that we need for the 12 bar blues and then we're going to try to throw some notes in you know from the pentatonic scale like that now what we're going to do is to play what is called the 12 bar blues turnaround what that means is we're going to play a chord progression using these three chords and we'll start that progression over after we play 12 measures. Okay? We'll start with an E7 chord. One, two, three, four. That's one measure. An A7 chord. One, two, three, four. Then two measures on the E chord. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To the A chord. Two measures. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, then back to E7, two, three, four, for two measures, one, two, three, four, B7, one measure, two, three, four, A7, one measure, two, three, four, E7, one measure, and then top it off with B7 for one more measure, and that's our 12 bars. Here's what it'll sound like if we play those chords along with a backing track. Now to spice things up a little bit, what we want to do is play the E7 chord, one, two, three, four, play the A7 chord, two, three, four, and throw in an easy riff. Something like that, and then we'll go to our A7, one, two, three, four, and then our riff again. Then 
go to B7, A7, then we'll go to E7, strike it for one beat, and then finish with a riff, something like this. B7, and then finish up with our E7 chord. Now our riffs will be coming from the E minor pentatonic scale. We'll play that scale like this. That's open on the low E string, third fret, the open A string, second fret, the open D string, second fret, the open G string, 2nd fret, the open B string, 3rd fret, and the open high E, 3rd fret. So that's... Now in order to use that pentatonic scale to get more of a blues sound, we'll play it backwards like this. So we start it down here on the high E, three open, three open on the B string, two open on the G string, two open on the D string, two open on the A string and three open on the low E. So that's Now what I did there on that third fret was to bend it a little bit on that G and go to open like that so I get this kind of sound. Now here's the short riff we want to try to play between these chords. So we play that by going to fret 3 on the high E string, open, the B string, 3 open, the A string starting at the second fret, and we're going to slide up to fret 4, then we'll hit that 3rd fret on the B string, come back to the 4th fret on the G string, slide down to the A note at fret 2, open, 2, open, and then the D string, 2 open, back to 2. So. So here's how we're going to try to incorporate this riff into our chord progression. We'll start with the E7, 2, 3, 4, A7, 2, 3, 4 in our riff. Then we'll start with our A7, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, our riff again. Seven, three, four, A seven, two, three, four, strike E and do a breakdown, something like this. And for that little breakdown, we simply went to fret four on the G string, fret four on the high E, and picked those strings like this. Go down a half step or one fret. Go down another fret, do the same thing. Hammer on fret one on the G string. And then play the high E. So here's what we did. And 
for that one, we went to the A string and played open A, fret 1, and then the B7 chord. Like that. So. Now, if we're playing around with the blues like this, we don't have to do it exactly that way. We can vary it any way we like. But that's the basic idea. We want to start with the E7, A7, A7, break down. A7 E7 So that's the kind of thing that we're trying to accomplish by playing around with the blues. Now we can do any riff we like. We can go Well alright, that's playing around with the 12 bar blues. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.